Anybody who thinks that public teachers unions, and I want to be specific, I'm not talking about private unions, I'm talking about public unions, which by the way shouldn't exist. FDR Franklin Delano Roosevelt, a Democrat, most popular president the country has ever had, won four terms, took us through World War II. FDR said there shouldn't be public unions because when you have public unions, you have government on both sides of the negotiating table. And when that happens, you're going to have corruption. And what have we seen with teachers unions? Mass corruptions, they become political arms for the Democrat Party, even though they get taxpayer money from Republicans, Democrats, and independents. And anybody who thinks that their job is focused on bettering education, you are wrong. You are dead wrong. Teachers unions don't exist to better education for kids. They exist to protect teachers based on seniority, not on performance, protect bad teachers, protect failing schools, prevent any kind of competition, and extort the taxpayer as much as possible. And how does this help kids in inner cities? How does this help black people? This hasn't resulted in bettering education. This has resulted for decades terrible education in inner cities that affect minority communities because in inner cities you have high concentration of people in, in minority groups. And how does a bad education help them? It doesn't, obviously. Public unions, when you're talking about, uh, oh, what, what's been holding people back? Well, what about public unions? What have they done for black families? What have they done for black people in inner cities? And here we have this Minneapolis Teachers Union contract structures layoff by race. So you here you have these teachers unions head by, headed by white people that are Marxists and that are just trying to divide everything by race and have these crazy ideas for trying to address past aggressions as long as it doesn't affect them. And of course, this isn't just teachers unions. We have these in corporations. We have white executives coming out with race quotas. Now, they're not going to step down for a person of color. No, no. But people below them, we need to uh, have these race quotas. But anyway, let's get on with this story because this is absolutely crazy. Oh, our teamwork makes our students dream work. No, this has nothing to do with students. If you did, the education you provided would be getting what better instead of getting worse. So public Schools contract with teachers union says that white teachers will be laid off or reassigned outside of seniority order before educators of color. Wow. So the clause was a deal struck by Minneapolis Federation of Teachers on March 25th to end a 14 day strike affecting 20,000, 29,000 students. So these teachers basically haven't been doing anything during COVID, and now they're going to go on strike. So here we go. Past discrimination by the district. What do you mean by that? What are your statistics? What are your examples? Disproportionately impacted the hiring of underrepresented teachers in a district. This is Minnesota. Minnesota is white, especially when you look 20 years ago. Play no black people in Minnesota. All you find, the only black people in Minnesota is Prince and Kirby Puckett. <laughs> and before that, it's only recently that they have had a lot of uh, immigrants, people of co color, come into Minnesota. But Minnesota predominantly has been white. So what are you talking about past discrimination? Are you talking about when the state was 99.9% .9 white, that the teachers were 99.9% .9 white? as compared to the relevant labor market in the community and resulted in a lack of diversity of teachers, the agreement says, once again, where are the facts 
and the district and, and the statistics to back this up. There's none. This is just coming out of somebody's ass. This is just what somebody's been told to say uh, as they went through Marxist indoctrination. It has nothing to do with the truth. Probably not. I mean, that's what I'm claiming. If, if somebody can provide any kind of evidence to counter that, uh, then please do. The clause aims to ensure a diverse teaching population because, once again, it's nothing to do about performance. It's nothing to do about bettering education. Not once do you see anything about teachers that perform better, teachers that are good teachers, teachers where their students excel. Nothing about that. They're just talking about diverse. So in other words, um, they under this, we can take away a good white teacher from black students and replace them with a horrible black teacher. According to this, that's exactly what's going to happen. And how would that help? That scenario is absolutely possible. Possible. Now, I'm not obviously. I'm not saying all oh, white teachers are good and all black teachers are bad. I am saying this opens up the scenario where you can take a white teacher that's very good at what they do, take them away from black students, and replace them by a teacher of color who is a horrible teacher. This opens up that scenario. And how would that help black people? And how what would that do to so-called address? past discrimination uh, from a district disproportionately impacted, blah, blah, blah. How does that help them? Teachers working in the following programs may be exempt. So there's some exemptions for whatever reason. I'm sure somebody who's exempt is this person high up in the union who's, who's white. I, I'm sure this, this woman that's coming up with this crap that she's exempt of Non-white teachers subject to excess or reducing position in a school, blah, blah, blah. So this is what they agree to already. It's illegal because you can't discriminate based on race. But what does this do to help anybody? And in general, what have public teachers unions done for the black community? And obviously not just the black community, white community, Hispanic community, Asian community, uh, Somalians. I want to make sure that the Somalians are included. You know, it's right for the Humpty Dance to include them, so it's right to include them here. What have public teachers unions done for everyone, for anyone, um, aside from being corrupt, being political arms of the Democrat Party, and keeping horrible teachers from being fired and being responsible for actually lowering educational standards and making education poor for kids, especially kids in inner cities. What have they done? Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. Until next time. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. Thank <laughs> you.